Shows keep watching. Love it when they do it too. The boy need options. Whole team mobbing. Whole team mobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing. Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your man, Twisted Drifter. Welcome back to another episode here on Forza Motorsports 7. Today, we are here with the big eSports update. It dropped early, as well as the Dell Forza Motorsports 7 car pack. Now, you guys are seeing correctly. We finally got the Bugatti Chiron into the game. Now, along with this Chiron, guys, we also got the beautiful Aston Martin number 7 V12 Vantage GT3, the 2017 thing is gorgeous. We also have the brand new Audi, or the 2016 Audi number 17 Road Tech Racing TTRS. Definitely going to be a fun car. For some reason, though, it's listed as a GT car. I'm not sure why, but definitely going to be a fun car to drive. Of course, we've got the beautiful Chiron, which we will be showing off in today's video at Bugatti Circuit. Definitely looking forward to seeing how that thing can do. We've got the Dodge Durango SRT. Now, a lot of people complain about this, but the thing is, is this is actually a performance-oriented vehicle, so it does fit in the motorsport game. It is performance-oriented, which means it can be taken to the track, and it's meant for the track. So it's not just, oh, another off-road vehicle. No, it's meant for the track. Next, we have the 1968 Monero GTS 327. Very beautiful Australian muscle being added in. Thank you, Turn 10. Showing the Aussies some love. The one I'm most hyped for, out other than the show you on, guys. We've got the 2018 Kia Stinger. I've been waiting for this thing to come to the game for a while. Definitely love the looks of that thing. And the fact it's a rear-wheel drive, twin-turbo V6. Definitely going to be a lot of fun. And then, of course, we've got the 2017 Dodge Ram 2500 Power Wagon. Which I'm still leaning to believe that there will be a DLC in the future for off-road guys. No guarantees on that just yet, but it is leading me to believe that. This thing I have heard can get pretty darn slammed, so we will be slamming it in a video. Maybe making it into a drift build. So be, forward to, be looking forward to a drift build on this thing guys. Definitely going to be a lot of fun with that. But today, we are here with this very... Very beautiful beast. The Bugatti Chiron, this thing has been, has been kept stock, no homologation. And she just is beautiful, guys. Like, the top of the interior real quick, let you guys see that. Very, very beautiful. You all will hear her once we get her to uh, Lamar Bugatti. But just look at the beauty of this thing, guys. She is gorgeous. Just that color, the way she's designed, she's perfect. Top of the photo mode, show you guys those beautiful LED headlights there. She is just gorgeous. Cannot wait to get this thing out on the track. So without further ado, guys, let's go on, get to the track, and see what we can do with this beautiful Bugatti. So here we go, guys. Now, today is my birthday. So, uh, tried recording this last night. Had some issues with it. But we are here re-recording it. Sorry for the late upload, guys. It'll, it should be around 2, 3 o'clock at the time that this has gone up. So, again, I do apologize for the late upload. Um, we're going to do three laps here at the Bugatti circuit. Cannot wait to see how this thing does here. Let's see what we can do at Lamar. Alright, guys, so here we are at Lamar. Thing looks beautiful in the pits. And see what this thing could do on the track and see how she sounds. Here we go, guys. Oh, ho, ho. She sounds gorgeous. Now, guys, I am still a little down with that head cold slightly, so I do apologize for the way I sound right now. Loving the wing and how she just flows back there. Active arrows looking nice, especially where I hit the brakes there. Now, guys, I'm not used to driving this track, so I do apologize. The main thing I'm trying to do is just keep it off the walls here. Now, the first thing is this car does feel heavy. Uh, she feels extremely heavy, and she's just hard to... She understeers a lot. 
You have to remember though, she's 1,479 horsepower, and she also weighs 4,000 pounds. So I mean, she's a heavy beast, but she's got plenty of power. Here we go. Gonna do a lap in third person, then we'll go and hop into first for the rest of it. Here we go. I should have gone down to the first for that. Coming up onto the straight though, let's see what this thing can do. Not really able to test the top speed truly with this track. If I should have done old Missane, uh, probably get ahead there for the top speed test after this guy, so be sure to look forward to that. We'll also do a mile drag to see what she could do in the standing mile. I know there's going to be a lot of people who want to see what this thing will do in a standing mile, guys. So we will do that as well. So here we go. Thing is definitely driving very nicely, though. I'm not going to lie. Let's go check out first person here. Definitely like the way the gauges work on this thing. Not liking the windshield reflection, but... It happens. Here we go. Now we are on the wheel, guys, so keep that in mind as well. She really does feel nice, though. I'm not going to lie. We do have traction on. She still wants to get loose. Definitely a driver's car. Like, if you are not paying attention... You are not going to uh, be able to keep her on the track. But she's definitely a driver's car. Definitely a lot of power. And very much living up to the hype so far. I know that people have been asking for the Chiron to enter the game for a while now. Uh, so glad we did not hit the wall. Did not want to damage this beast. But I know people have been asking for this car for a long time, guys. It's about time it entered the game. And it's just a very beautiful car, I'm not going to lie. She handles nice, sounds amazing. And it's nice to actually be able to drive it without having to go and put out two plus million dollars on the car. And just to be able to say you own a virtual version of it, it definitely feels good, I'm not going to lie. And it does show that Turn 10 does listen to its fans. I mean, all, like I said, it all comes down to when they can get the money, when they can get the licensing, and what deals they have to go and make with the automaker. Like, I know everybody... Oh, shite. I know everybody wants all these high-end supercars, all these high-end cars, but what you got to realize, guys, is that it's all down to what the automakers when, and how they can go and get the uh, licensing to do so. It's all down to that. And that's one thing that first... Whoa! Shite! We... Oh, okay, we killed it. We have killed the Chiron, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, I did not want that to happen. Uh, that's going to end this run with the Chiron. We're going to go do that test, that high-speed test. Now, that was... That was terrible. Oh, my God. I feel, I feel bad now. Ah, shite. Okay. Let's go do that high speed run now, guys. See what we can do. Definitely feel guilty with that. I'll see you at the straight. Alright, guys. So here we are coming up onto the straight. Hopefully this thing will be able to do decent here. Here we go. Definitely beautiful when the wing is down. But let's see, go and check out that wing in action. As you start to gain speed, it'll go up high, and then it'll just settle there. So I do like the way they did all the three stages of the wing. Definitely nice to see that dedication. Already at 220, feeling very stable at high speed. Up to 239, 240. Definitely starting to lose her here. She's definitely feeling a little less stable, guys. 
Now we're not even going to worry about stopping. We're just going to test the speed all out. 267. 68. Ah. She just slowed down right there. I'm not sure why she slowed down, but she slowed down on her own, guys. That was 269 that we got there before she started having issues. I did not start slowing her down. She slowed down on her own. We're going to try it the other way. See if it does any better. Here we go. However, we have lost a headlight. Did not want that to happen, but it did, so. Anyhow, let's see what we can do, guys. Get that speed up higher, maybe. Here we go, come on. Two fifty. Two sixty. Come on, hit 270. Come on. Nope, she still wants to slow down once she gets to 260, guys. I don't know why she does that, but she does. Yep, she she doesn't like high speed. The game throttles you back down. I don't understand it. Oh, God. Yep, we told her. Car is definitely a fast beast, though, guys. I mean, she has the power to do what she sa says she can do. Definitely a, bit, a very fun car. I will see you guys at that standing mile. Hopefully we can go and get some decent times there. Here we go. All right, three, two, one. <clears throat> All right, let's get ready to do this shit. Three, two, one, and go. All right, guys, so here we are at the drag strip, finally. Alright guys, so here we are at the drag strip, about to go and do the one mile standing start. Let's see how this thing can do here, here we go. Come on. Okay guys, having some, ah, oh, fuck. <clears throat> Restart the game.
Alright, so here we are, guys, loading into the uh, test track airfield now. About to do the standing mile with the Bugatti shoe on. Definitely anxious to go and see what this thing can do. Here we go. Hopefully we can get a, sta a decent standing start. It does look like it put us up against a uh, car that will easily be smoked. Here we go. So definitely has some nice acceleration already up to about 180. So that's definitely doing nice. We're not even halfway there yet. Come on. So in the standing mile, guys, it'll do about 228. That's not too bad for the standing mile. We do have one more stint, I think we have. So see if we can maybe shift a little bit faster. And maybe get that thing a, just a slight bit faster here. 22 seconds, though, in the mile. Standing mile is 22 seconds, guys. That is, that is fast. So let's go and do a, see how fast it does in the quarter real quick. So if we'll do a 22-second mile at 228. Let's see what it'll do in the quarter mile. Here we go, guys. See what we can do in the quarter before we end off this video. So here we go. Alright guys, so here we are at Hockenheim for this quarter mile. Here we go. See how this thing does in the quarter. Cannot stage it properly, which sucks. There we go. The thing is definitely fast. Stay in our lane here. A 9.676 at, I think it was 160 mile an hour, guys. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. I mean, I'm actually pretty impressed with that. Can't go wrong. The Chiron is definitely faster than the Veyron. The Veyron got a, an 11.021. Now, guys, I will be doing a Veyron versus Chiron video eventually, so hopefully you guys will be looking forward to that. Definitely going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video showcasing the most requested car for Forza Motorsport. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and do enjoy the content. This next week, I'm not making any promises due to a bunch of stuff I've got going on. But I am going to try and get some more split second out there for you guys. Maybe some crazy taxi which just came through with gold. Throw in some need for speed. And maybe a wreckfest a wreck video or two. So hopefully you guys will be looking forward to that. We will be doing more Forza Motorsport in the upcoming weeks. Always remember mental health does matter. Do not be afraid to seek help if you need it. And do not let people tell you that it, your labels are just... That are what control you guys... Your labels are just labels. You control who you choose to be. And I want to say that everybody who has been affected by the mass shootings recently in Florida, I do want to go and say I, you, you all are in my prayers. I am very I am saddened by the news. So all, to all those families, I, you are in my prayers. Until next time, guys, it is your man Twister Drifter. I will see you all in the next video. I'm...